Today I'm going to go to Ashbury, I've got a few things to talk about with regards to the fitting studio, layouts of stuff. So on that, I'm going to go into the sim room there because I'm going to do some driver stuff because I don't really trust the net with a driver if I miss that net, which is a high possibility. Um, I don't think the neighbours will be very happy so I'm going to use that. So what I'm going to do is start a new series of called Build My Bag Showdown. So for 2021, I'm not going to pick a brand, I'm not going to pick like anything specifically like I used Callaway most of last year. I'm going to, by the summer, hopefully have a bag of things that I've tested comprehensively. And it's going to start with driver. So I'm going to put a driver versus another driver and then that one will win and move on to the next round and I'm going to get eventually work out what the best driver is for me and I want you guys to get involved so I want you to comment during the video which driver out of the two I'm using today you think will be best for me. Now yesterday's video brought up a lot of talking points. Um, some people are telling me I'm wrong. Well I get my information from the brand ball fitters so I trust them uh, and I'll pass that information on. Now I am fully aware that what I explained yesterday is the Billy Basics. It's just the physics around compression from what I've been told, what I've researched and what I've learned. There is so many determining factors about what ball you should use. It's so strike dependent, weather dependent. I get all that, and I. but yesterday's video was literally a basics on ball compression. What I'm not doing is saying, if you've got a mile, 70 mile an hour ball speed, go and get a Strix and Soft Field, because you'll be so much better. What you should do is go and get a ball fit and then work out there what the best ball is for, for you and then at that point stick to that ball because changing balls all the time for so ones you find and stuff will have differing degrees of yardages because of the compression of the golf ball, because of the layers in the golf ball, because of the finish of the golf ball. I understand there's so many determining factors. Yesterday was just a bit of an explanation on ball compression as a ball compression. There, there are lots of determining factors, so don't go and change your ball because of the compression rating of it. Get a fit. Get fit for your swing, is the only advice I can give you. What I'm not telling you to do is go not buy Pro V1s because you, you're not good enough for them, or you're not fast enough for them, or whatever. It's not the point of yesterday's video, it was purely an explanation on how ball compression works. And if it came across differently then I apologize that wasn't the intention of the video um, but the information I get is from the media I'm sent by the brands speaking to the brands ball fitters about compression and their balls I understand so many different factors are involved anyway that's enough of that um, I'm off to Ashbury let's start uh, do some driver testing and um, let me know which one you think I should use Okay, welcome down to Ashbury, and today I'm gonna to look at my driver because this thing here is the worst part of my game. So I'm gonna be putting this up against the Cleveland Launcher Turbo. And the reason I'm doing this is because when we did a review of this on Dan's channel, I found this to be actually really forgiving and difficult to miss right, whereas this can go everywhere. It's the Sub-Zero version, it's so unforgiving, so today, it's the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero versus the Cleveland Launcher Turbo. Now this is a uh, nine degrees in a stiff shaft. This is a nine degrees in an X stiff shaft. This one's been fitted, this one hasn't. Um, but it'd be interesting to just put them head to head, see what kind of distance we get, see what kind of dispersion we get, and just generally try and get my driver into some form of order. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Maverick Sub-Zero. Um, this is the club I've been using for a while and arguably the club that's got me into a lot of trouble. So let's see what we can do with it. Let's get that screen recording so you can see how wayward this gets. So I do love this club when it comes off, but I think the problem is, is it doesn't come off often enough. I'll take that there. Not very good carry. 244. Getting jumpy again. It's better though. 
That was better. That one there was one of my good ones, 275, 109 club. I can get the club speed up, but I'm just trying to hit fairways at the minute. I've always thought this looks a little bit open, so I should aim out to the right, but I'm not bothered if I pull it, and they all go left because it's difficult in a sim as long as it's consistent. That was um, just Good. That was out the heel, that was. But it's still done all right. It hasn't gone massively bad. Has it gone distance-wise? 248, because it's span up, but if that had been the sub-zero, God knows where that would have gone. Now with all that pulled, I'm kind of expecting that with this club. So I would always play, aim up the right and draw it in. So that's what I'm going to try and do on this. I don't really like doing it in simulators, but I shall give it a go. Now that was an awful placement on the club. Interesting numbers, very interesting. Oh, that's in the locker with this club. Now that was a good shot. That's what I'm talking about. What did we carry on that? 281. That's the problem with this club. That one there. That's the one. And that was the duck hook. Just gonna put this to fairway wood. I know it's not, I know it's a Cleveland launcher. But it won't affect the numbers, it'll just look a little bit weird on the on the face. Right, five more with this then. I've got a feeling this one is probably gonna win this challenge. Oh, that was a dog crap shot. There's the forgiveness in this club. That was awful. But it went pretty straight. I definitely need some work on this driver. When it's right, it's brilliant. When it's bad, it's awful.
Aim that out to the right, and that is a beautiful shot for me. So it didn't come back in, but what it didn't do is like go off on a tangent on its own, still carry 263 with 3,000 ball speed, with, with 3,000 spin. Something in this club, Lee. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. It's just spinny, isn't it? That's the only problem with this club, is I'm losing a bit of distance because of spin. Why am I hitting it, hitting it low on the face? That's why. <clears throat> Get that a little bit higher and in the toe. Then that spin's coming down, that's down to me. But I think we've got a clear winner. Last one with this then, we'll have a look at the numbers. There it is. There it is, ladies and gents. Right, this is better because it's give us the averages now. Uh, well, it's give us the average of the driver. It's not give us the average of the fairway wood. Bloody mobile out. Right, so let's look at the top one, the sub zero. To disable that first one, it was like, <laughs> give up golf. 244 carry average all over the place, inconsistent, 221, 238, 241, so inconsistent, it's unbelievable. Now let's move down to the fairway wood, which is actually the Cleveland driver. 267.5, two and a half spin. The offline is so much better. And then they've got this one here, that 280 yard, it is just perfect. Just slightly high in the toe. A little bit too up, that's, my, that's the only thing, is a little bit too up. Like the launch angle is, my angle of attack is a little bit too up, it's something I need to work on. So we've done a head to head, Callaway Maverick versus the Launcher HB Turbo. So you've seen the, the ball flights and what I've done with this, the good bits and the bad bits. If you were me, which club would you use? Comment down below. I'm going to call that the winner of this head to head is the Cleveland Launcher HB Turbo. So forgiving. If you get it right, it's perfect. The miss is normally to the left, and if it does go out to the right, it kind of stays straight right. This, I have no idea what's going on. I hit the ball, and it's completely pot luck where that ball's gonna go. Um, no idea, whereas with this, I've got confidence that I'm not gonna miss to the right too much. So, for the time being, and anything we do, this is going in the bag. So, moving on, HB Launcher, that will move on to round two. I'll put other clubs head to head, um, like the Strixon, other Mavericks, um, the new releases when they come out, once I get hold of them. And we'll decide, probably by March time, by the time we come out of lockdown, which driver or which clubs will go in my bag. But for the time being, my Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero, poof, gone, not happening. I get better ball speed. I'm getting everything better with this. It's it, this shaft, this counterbalance shaft is fantastic. Um, I didn't realize how good it was until we did the review on Dan's channel. It is just a fantastic club. And for the price that you get this for, this has got to be a contender to go into people's bags compared to 450 and 289, I think it is, top of my head. I may be wrong. Um, no more than like, 350 at the most, but I don't even think it's that much. Right, I've been challenged. So in my last video, I said my driver swing speed is about 110 to 120 mile an hour. Someone said, nah, you can't do 120, Lee. So let's find out if I can. So when I say 110 to 120, I mean, that's my average. So it can be anywhere from like 110, 115, 118, 116. But now I've been challenged to get to 120. So, I suppose we better uh, try and accept that challenge.
Right, first shot wasn't a great hit, but I am going to video this. Okay, so you can see me on there. And uh, this is the audio, but that was the first go at it. I mean, it was crap. Still carried 293, quite good low spin, 119. Right, let's get to 120. One eighteen. Ah, oh, good hit that. Well, that carry two seven four. Oh well. You're right. I can't get to one twenty. I can't get to one nineteen now. Right. Well, I hope you've liked that video. I am down here at Ashbury today just because I I wanted to do some driver testing. I don't really trust doing it in my net at home. Um, I'm down here anyway doing some work on the fitting centre, so I thought I'd utilise these facilities while I was here. But um, interesting comparison I think and it's nice to see that the forgiving drivers do exactly what they say they're going to do because for me that HB launcher is just winning hands down I think you know you comment down below what you think but for me it's winning by a country mile over the Maverick Sub-Zero so going in the bag for now for anything we do out of lockdown will be the Cleveland Launcher Turbo without a shadow of a doubt I'm going to try and get out on the course and test it at some point as well just to prove it out onto the course, but in here, it's a Cleveland launcher. Anyway, thank you for watching my build a bag showdown that I'm gonna call it. Decide what clubs I'm gonna have next year, but for the time being, we've done the first driver comparison, we'll do another one soon, but if you are new to the channel, please hit it, consider hitting that subscribe button. Please give this video a like. Um, we're doing the best, I'm doing the best I can in these situations of being able to produce content. And um, I'll see you all again very, very soon.